This video, I want to show you how you can digitalize your Shopflow meetings with Peakboard, creating a SQTCDP dashboard. How this works, I will show you now. I've already created the Peakboard Hub list in the Peakboard Hub, where I created a date for each of the days, a state which defines if everything was fine or not, and a category like safety, quality or cost. So let's jump back into the Peakboard Designer. We are already connected to Peakboard Hub using this Peakboard Hub button on the top. Now I will add our major data source in the Peakboard Hub list. I will call it SQCDP and click here on Load Lists. Now I select the only available list I have here and click on load data, which will give me all the data we have seen in the Peakboard Hub before. Then I need to split it into the several categories by pressing here on process data with a data flow. Let's create the first one, which I will call safety. And I click on the category with the right mouse button and I select only the rows containing this value. Now I click on OK to create this first data flow just with the safety data and I will do the same for all the others. When I'm done with that, I will create the visual components and I will start with a header and create here the, the headline. Let's call it as CDP and I set the font to header 1. I just copy and paste it and I will create here on the right side the month by connecting this text box to our time data source which is there by default. For the format I just click here on this three dots, select date and time and I enter four M's for four months and also select the output language to English and then I will align it to the right. Now let's start with the safety data flow for creating the uh, single buttons where you can later click on. Let's click here on styled click connect collection to create such one. First I define the width and the height. I will both set to 70 pixels and place it here. Now I want to add a rectangle which I will place here in the back and set the background of the template to transparent so we get this round corners and I set here for the rectangle some rules which define if it should be red, green or yellow so depending on the state. Let's click on add first rule and here if the state equals zero then I will set the color to green that means that everything was fine on that day. Let's duplicate it two times and if it is two then we set it to yellow and if it's three then we set it to red. And if it's none of these values it will be gray which means it is not defined yet. Let's also add a button on the top we place it on over the rectangle, remove the text and also the border so it's invisible now and by double clicking it I will be able to set the logic behind. So let's go on here and we start with an if else block and this one should say when the state plus one so one more than the current state is smaller than four. That means we reached the point of a state which could not be there anymore. Then we write to the Peakboard Hub list we've created before the value of the new state. So for that I go here to set value 
by row number and for the row number I just take the ID of the corresponding field we are currently in and then I just want to increase the number by one. And in case we already reached the number four, that means that this is a state that is not available anymore. In that case, we want to set, set it just to zero. And like this, we start from the state again. And at the end, I will reload the list from our Pickboard Hub. Now I click here on save and close. And I also need to change here the value of the text we are showing. So in the text currently we are showing the ID, but I want to show the date. And in the date again, I need to define a format. So let's just put here only the dates. So now I can click here on OK. And now I've created the first one. Let's also change here the size a bit. Let's Put it to 300 and this is 20 and also i decreased the column and the row gap so i'm able to have four columns in here then let's add a new rectangle with a border but without a background and this one will be the background of my uh, styled tile collection so i will place it here and set it behind it. And now I just need to add another header to it so you directly can see what it is about. I place it here and set the format, uh, sorry, the font to header two. And the first one will be T. And I will center it. All right, and the same thing we'll just do for all the other data flows. All right, now we are basically done. One thing is left. Currently I select from the Pickboard Hub list all the months, but I just want to select the current one. So for this, I create a new variable by clicking here on add variable and I call it month. By default, I set it here to April with a prefix dot and a suffix dot. You will see why I need them. Let's click here on okay. And here I go to activation script to define a script running once at the beginning. Now here I will set the month variable which I've just created. And for this I go to text and to merge and create a text starting with this point, also ending with this point and in the mid I will set the current month and click here on save and close. Like this I will get this month into this variable and I will open the hub list once again and here now I can set filter. I just want to have those which contains this month. And when you would take a look on the month column, it starts with a dot and ends with a dot. That's the reason why we added them. So it's by uh, it's for sure the month we are currently searching with this contain. I can click on refresh, but nothing will change since we just have this April values here. Let's click on OK and on the preview on the top. And here we go. Now we have created this dashboard, which you can see here. You can change the color, setting it to yellow or to red if any problems occurred or to gray if nothing happened. If you want to have a more sophisticated version of it, you can also just download the template from our templates portal under templates.peakboard.com. All right, thanks for watching and see you next time.